This is Twit. Android 12 must be on the horizon, my friends, uh, because it is it is leaking left and right. And before we get into this, I just want to give everyone, normally I do this on other podcasts I do about media and movies and things like that. We always do a spoiler warning. Mm -hmm. I do want to prepare our listening and watching audience that I'm about to spoil something pretty big because as you know, with every version of Android, a lot of our enjoyment of it is the speculation of what the uh, dessert name will be. In fact, we did it last week, right, Jason? We were talking about yeah. S uh, S named uh, ones. Well, in the latest round of leaks about Android 12, XDA uh, reveals a ton of details, including what the internal name or the dessert name is. And I'm, and I'm going to spoil it for you now. I'm sorry. Stop listening, but then come back. Whatever. Don't stop listening. You want to listen. Yeah. Uh, it is called Snow Cone. Oh, Which now makes me like go. go duh. Of course, S dessert snow cone. That's that's a great one. If we had a few more months of speculation, I think we would have figured it out. I'm just saying. Yeah, um, it would have come up. But yeah, point. that was quick. I feel that like this was one is really anticlimactic. Like I really yeah. sort of robbed of an experience. Totally kind of stolen. Totally kind agree. of stolen from us. Kind of taken yeah. away. I'm a little upset. Yeah. Maybe they did this and in advance, we knowing that we were we're onto them. Well, I mean, and I get it. They've been in lockdown. Get they've, they've been able to, you know. And we won't What's get that? to see you guys sampling snow cones every week. I know. Right. Which would be fun in that. It would, would be a ton of fun. Yeah. Well, anyway, so uh, as far as more important aspects of it, um, the UI changes we saw last week are being dubbed internally as material next. Okay. Mm. Mm. Um, and there are likely more UI changes coming in Android 12. Uh, those include changing the always on display and lock screen. So changes to the pattern lock, lock interface, adding device controls to lock screen and not just the power menu. Um, quick settings panel, wallpaper based theming. Um, where is it? Ah, sorry. Wallpaper based theming changes to how app launching is presented visually, visually, um, a more flexible picture in picture mode. Uh, my favorite thing, sarcasm alert. <laughs> Uh, new floating bubble animations, uh, smart auto rotate using front facing camera to detect the detect head orientation, which I like. I like that. Yeah. That's um, interesting. A, yeah. A game mode, which is basically do not disturb auto brightness, auto rotation, etc. Um, which the one plus has a game mode. They have some weird I name mean, most, for it. Yeah. Most yeah, devices yeah. seem to have implemented their own version of game mode. And yeah, yeah. often this is so how my game features mode end up comes on when I'm shopping on the Nordstrom app. I, well, cause shopping, every time I go into a shopping app, it goes game mode is on. And I'm like, wow. Really? Your phone knows that you are a hardcore shopper. <laughs> I know. I, yeah. I felt kind of called out when that happened, but yeah, a little bit. Um, and then lastly, uh, a one handed mode that's being added to the AOSP. Um, so that's a lot of news, a lot of information, but it's always important to note that it is early folks. It is February. So some, if not much, a lot of this uh, might not even exist in the dev preview builds. It's stuff that they're just working on now. Um, but usually it's a good indicator of what's to come, be it in this version or future versions. Um, so that's a lot. So Sam, yeah. what do you, what do you make of all this? Are you now, are you, what, what is your excitement level for Android 12 snow cone now that you're out in this, in the snow uh, currently? <laughs> uh, I mean, there's some, some aspects of it that, that I like, um, you know, something like the app pairs and uh, some of the, the picture-in-picture picture stuff looks promising. Uh, I don't know about the the interface that they've got here. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm crazy about you know all the rounded rectangles and and stuff. And I mean, for me personally, I, I like a more bold color palette. I'm not crazy about the the very muted earth tones. But I mean, hopefully, I, I've heard that there's supposed to be a theming engine in here, so maybe you'll get to pick your own color palette. Yeah, that's that's my understanding, or at least that's my guess, anyways, based on what we've read and based on what we're looking there. Is is that, um, you know, and they they even mentioned this in the XDA update. This like water, uh, water paper, wallpaper based theming. That what you're looking at in in that screenshot prior to what we're looking at here, or maybe this also. I'm not really quite sure. Um, might be an indication or an example of that, right? Like loading in a wallpaper and then having the interface kind of morph its color palette around that particular wallpaper. Ooh. And so, you know, if they're using a muted Pretty. theme uh, or a muted wall wallpaper, uh, that's what we ended up with. Not necessarily that the OS now all has that color scheme, but that's just one example of it. That's what I hope because not everybody's yeah. going to dig that. And actually the, the reaction, 
from what I've read, uh, you know, about this, like in places like Reddit and stuff, people have been pretty kind of like, ah, I don't, I don't care for the look of this. And I don't know if that's the color palette or if that's the kind of rounding of the edges and stuff. Cause that's maybe a little bit, uh, well, that's probably part of the theming too. Now that I think about it, if you go in to the, the, um, yeah. The, the theme settings, uh, even on Android 11, you have the ability yeah. to kind of adjust some of these things. So mm -hmm. you can adjust the yeah. curvature and the, yeah. and the way it curves. Um, I do think that you pointed out something interesting about whether or not some of the critiques are because they, the, the critic doesn't like the color palette. Um, right. But I, you know, it's it's part of the design paradigm we're in now. So it really much aligns with that. And, um, in order for the pixel and for Google to really like become this global brand, I mean, it has to keep following the direction of like the UI style, so to speak. And I, I wouldn't be surprised if we started to see more of this come out in the desktop operating systems too, coming soon. Mm. One, one thing I hope that they don't change is the the widgets and you know we haven't seen anything about the widgets i i hope that they retain you know the fully interactive style of widgets that we've had all along in, in android because <clears throat> i've got an iphone that i keep around for testing purposes and you know while the the widgets they added in ios 14 are a step in the right direction you know i mean they're they're just they're pretty static and I, I use a bunch of widgets on my phones and I like having, you know, like I've got one for my calendar agenda for all my meetings. I can scroll through and see, you know, see very quickly, uh, you know, what I've got coming up. And I've got, got a few others uh, for Google Keep for lists and things like that. And I hope that we, that they retain that kind of functionality with the widgets. I feel like widgets have been on a, on a, like, wasn't there a period where we thought widgets were going to go away and then they came back? Like, yeah. I, I, I feel like there's been a lot of uh, consternation on the, on the, on the Android side about what to do with widgets. Right? Yeah. Well, now, now that Apple has finally acknowledged that widgets are actually okay, uh -huh. you know, maybe we'll get to keep yeah, them. Yeah. 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 Interesting. Um, was it in chat? Uh, Scooter X posted a link in chat to a nine to five Google article, uh, which is titled Google bringing material design to the web in a significant way with a WordPress plugin. Mm -hmm. And just looking at the thing, the, the posting there, wow, in some ways in here, I'll see if I can, I don't know if you have access to that. Uh, I, I saw Yasmin yes, in Evian posted something yep. about yeah. that on Twitter. And I, I tried to install that on one of my test sites today and I actually couldn't find the, the plugin and, um, I didn't have time no, to uh, to download it and upload it manually. Yeah. I want it. But, I'm trying I mean, to decide looking, where I would use it. Looking at it, like it has a lot of similar design notes to some of these screenshots that we're seeing of Android 12. So Those colors are just one particular way to theme it. It's right. So, it's so nice and this is really nice. This is very standard, simple web design. There's nothing like... She she or fru fru about it. It's just she she or fru fru. She she or fru fru. That's not um, going to be the episode title. Everyone, don't even get. No, don't I don't know how it is. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, so I'll be curious to see. Like where I stand on this is that I'm excited that there's a, a visual change coming to Android. Like, right. and I don't, I don't know yet whether I'm going to enjoy it when I'm using it, but I'm just excited for the news that we're getting some sort of major ish update, which is kind of what this feels like to me that they're really integrating a new visual direction for Android. Maybe it's not going to end up being that major of a change, uh, in use, but just knowing that they aren't just putting out another version with very light, you know, kind of updates and calling it the next version of Android, knowing that there's something more here gets me a little more excited because I, and I think we talked about it last week, but just kind of been feeling this kind of like, oh, okay, there, there's that thing again that we've been, you know, spent the last five years looking at. Uh, so it's nice to get a little bit of a fresh take on it now.